hello, take a minute, solve this problem, and then we'll solve it together. All right, they want to know which equation represents a parabola with a focus of negative 2, 5, and a directrix of y equals 9. All right, so I often do a super rough sketch to begin to get a sense of what's happening. So here, and let me just bring that down a little bit more. Okay, so what are they telling us? They're telling us that the focus is at negative 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the directrix is up here at 9, so 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is our directrix. So y equals 9. And then this is uh, negative 2, 5. So the vertex is going to be halfway between 5 and 9. You can count or add them and average them. So 5 plus 9 is 14, divided by 2 is 7. It's on the same vertical line as uh, the focus but it's halfway between. So this distance right here is 2, and so is this, right? So anyway, our parabola is then going through this vertex, and it's opening downward, right? Rough sketch by me. And the vertex is at negative 2, 7. Now, this information helps us because in general, you have x minus h. h is the x-coordinate of the vertex squared. It'll equal 4 times p, the absolute value of p is this distance between the focus and vertex, times y minus k. So we plug in what we know. The vertex, x minus negative 2, or plus 2, equals 4 times p. p is 2, so 8. And then y minus k, which is 7. And that's our equation, which I think we see right here in choice 4. But notice, I often do this. It's negative 8. Why? This number here, 2, is the absolute value of p. But since p is opening downwards, the absolute value of p might be 2, but p itself equals negative 2. And that's what's happening right here. So it gets us negative 8. If it opened upward, it would be positive 2. All right, I hope that helped.